are paved with frozen waste. It's Late Night with David Letterman. Tonight... We have Richard Lionheart, King John, King Arthur, and a special appearance. Also, a top ten list. All for you tonight. And now, a man you watch grow up as TV's elephant boy, David Letterman. Thank you. And tonight's first guest is Richard the Lionhearted. It's real nice to have you here for the first time during our special show. You are our special guest. Thank you, Dave. And I was just <laughs> just wondering, uh, what do you feel about the idea of you, King Richard, being the son of the great Henry II? I'll tell you, Dave. Uh, Dad was a great guy. You know, he always he always uh, took care of me and my brother John. And I really look up to him. He's a big hero in my life. And uh, I'd just like to say, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Well, anyway, Dave. Notice, Richard, that uh, you kind of have this, almost the same robe as I do. You must have an excellent choice in robes. Well, thank you, Dave. You do, too. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and I was just just wondering if you... Uh, I was wondering if you, uh, what you thought of this, uh, chivalry stuff that you have in this, the Middle Ages. Well, I'll tell you, Dave, that chivalry, it, uh, really helps in, you know, scoring with the women. But seriously, uh, I think it's a good idea. I don't think it's going to last. I think it'll die out, you know, sometime in the mid-1800s or so. But we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, I was just... <laughs> hey, this is almost a once in a life thing. So, I was just wondering... <laughs> just wondering, Richard, uh, what you thought of those, uh, Mohammedans over in, uh, Turkey there? I'll tell you, Dave, those Mohammedans... They're just a bunch of, I call them Turks, and that's short for Turkey, because that's exactly what they are. They think they've got every right to that holy land. Personally, it's mine. And I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to kick some, if you know what I mean, Dave. Well, Richard, I really think we got the idea of that one there. And I was just, uh, I was just wondering uh, what you really, what your real thoughts are on your brother John. Dave, my brother John, he's good for nothing. I don't like him. My family doesn't like him. Women don't like him. Nobody likes him. He thinks he's so great. He drives everybody so hard. He thinks he's Mr. Wonderful. Well, basically, everybody out there knows that that's not true, because I'm Mr. Wonderful. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure having you on the show tonight, and uh, hope you can come back and join us later on, maybe right around down the 19th century or so. And I was just going to say, we'll be right back with... King John after this message. Wait a minute, Letterman. Who do you think you are having my brother John on the same show as me? Well, who do you think you are? Where are you going, Letterman? Letterman, get back. Welcome back to the show. And tonight, we have a special top ten list from our home office in Scottsdale, Arizona. We have the top ten most popular people of medieval England. 
Number 10 is King John. Number 9 is Henry II. Number 8 is William the Conqueror. Number 7 is Duke of York. Number 6 is King Arthur. Number 5 is Duke of Lancaster. Number 4 is the Virgin Mary. Number 3 is Thomas Beckett. Number 2 is Richard the Lionhearted. And the number 1 most popular person of medieval England is Mrs. Hugelin. <laughs> Right, we have another special guest, and that is the ever-famous King John. Give him a big hand now. Listen, Marvin, let's make this quick. I've got slaves to beat and people to harass. Well, John, what do you think of what your brother Richard just said about you? Give me that, brother. Listen, I'll tell you one thing right now. I don't give a what my brother says about me. Me and them never got along. He was always Dad's favorite. And I don't have time to see you and talk about that brother. And if that's all you're going to talk about, then I'm leaving now. Got it? All right. Well, uh, then we'll just kind of, we'll try to keep him out of the conversation. But I was just wondering what you think of this uh, Magna Carta type stuff they're pulling. But Letterman, I think that Magna Carta just not even worth the paper it's written on. And if you insist on talking about that and everything else I ask you not to talk about, then there's no reason for me to stay, okay? That's a pretty nice attitude you have there, but I was just wondering, uh... <sighs> Tell me about the women in your life. I mean, Letterman, you think I don't have any women? You think no women like me? You think I'm ugly, Letterman? Is that what you think? Well, I'll think you're wrong, Letterman. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, I guess this is a good time for a commercial break, so we'll be right back with the ever popular King Arthur. Welcome back to the show, and without further ado, we have our next guest, which is King Arthur, everyone loves. Well, why don't you just give him a big hand? Nice to be here. Just wondering, uh, how was the trip in? It was pretty good. A little slow. <laughs> Usual. And, uh, got a few questions, questions for you. I was just wondering, uh, how Merlin is doing. Hey, um, I'll tell you, I haven't heard from Merlin for several years now, and frankly, I don't know where he is or what's happening. Well, we have just a little surprise for you here. You do? Yeah. weekend in uh, the Swiss Alps with John's daughter, the girl King John. Yeah. I'll tell you, his daughter is quite a, quite a dynamo. Let's just put it that way. So what are your future plans? If I'm going to go get my wife back. That scum Lancelot ran off with her, and I'm going to track him down. And if you're watching this, Lancelot, you better watch yourself. Great having you on the show, and I hope you can come back later. And now you can go visit Merlin, reminisce about old times in the green room. And we'll be right back after this. Ah! 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 Well, it looks like we had just a little bit of trouble with King John the Green one, but we'll get that straight pretty soon. Back to the show. And I'd just like to say that it looks like in this last segment we had, it looks like Richard and Arthur took care of that little problem we had with John. But that's all taken care of now. So I was just going to say, I hope you all enjoy your show, and I'd like to thank my guests, 
and I hope you all join us tomorrow night. Be good night.